In March 2010, tens of thousands of Americans opposed to the health care reform bill and the Obama agenda in general with only a three-day notice converged on Washington, D.C. for an emergency show of strong but peaceful opposition as the final vote loomed. That fateful day, stunned leftist politicians looked out over the massive last-minute crowd of patriots and responded in the only way they knew how, to slander. They cleverly sent a group of black politicians to parade through the crowd with cameras hoping to lure some protesters into racist and hateful actions. Unfortunately for them, they were unable to document any such event. So they, in spite of all evidence to the contrary, insisted that racist and sick behavior was perpetrated that day. This was a deceptive distraction. They were, and still are, cynically manipulating the media and liberal voters with the oldest political tool, fear. Now, months later, this lie is the basis for the NAACP to publicly slander the Tea Party movement as racist. So why are the leftists so intent on distracting the people's attention away from what happened that weekend? We were there for the entire two-day event, and we know why. You've heard ad infinitum about the spitting and n-word fabricated sideshow. Now take a few minutes to see the main attraction, what the leftists do not want you to see. Let's say, let's say a prayer now for this day. Dear God, our Father, we know you're here with us. We know you're in the battle with us. We know what you want. Your Bible has instructed us what to do. Your Holy Spirit is with us, Father. Lord, we pray for those who need your help. We pray for our, even our president that you would enter his heart and give him the will that you have. Father, be with us this today, today and bless this day. Father, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I am also here, uh, happen to be in Washington, D.C., and attending the leadership summit of the Frederick Douglass Foundation. They are working at grooming the next generation of abolitionists. I tell you, this health care bill is nothing but a farce, and those people that claim to be so um, compassionate about the those that are not insured are just hypocritical liars. Yeah! I used to be a nurse in a children's hospital in Oakland, and when I noticed that many times we could not dis discharge children who no longer could benefit of the services in an acute care setting, I set up a nursing home for children, and for three years, my six-bed facility went vacant, while another provider who was not a minority had seven uh, facilities and maintained a waiting list. And all the times I went to all my representatives, Barbara Lee, George Miller, uh, you name them, each and every one of them, they didn't care enough because children don't vote and I was not an active participant in the political process. But I'm here now and together we can do it. I never thought I'd get to speak at Washington as a kid, but here I am. this crazy bill that crazy expensive bill that the Dems are trying to push through we really ignore the root problem of this and that's my generation we've got an entitlement mentality uh, you have no idea I've been to seven schools health care is a right no it's not the Constitution gives you a right to life liberty and the pursuit of happiness you want anything else you bust your butt to get it Yes. Now, oh, what did we do before we had government? The churches took care of things and they did a damn fine job. The charities don't have the money to provide services. And so the government took over with Medicare and Medicaid, which are now conveniently broke. So what I'm trying to say here is, we're the next generation. We need to get this bill stopped, but we need to re-educate our kids because they're getting brainwashed at school every single day. 
My name is Fabrizio Bavona. Like they said, I'm a paramedic for 30 years. I'm also an RN, a firefighter, and I'm in law enforcement. Thank you. I was at the attacks on 1993, and in 2001, I lost two partners in the collapse. I've been stabbed, I've been shot, I've been assaulted, and for the first time in my career, I'm afraid, and it has nothing to do with what's going on out there, but what's going on behind me. The front line for our war has crossed our borders and is in our front yards, and you are the soldiers today, and this is the war! absolutely nothing to do with health care. Nothing. We have the best health care system in the world and I can tell you that because I've been in it for 30 years. I know where the failures are. I know where the problems are. And this bill expands those failures and makes those problems all of ours. Like I said, my concern is that we are being attacked from within. We are now defenseless, and we need to address the problem. You are the last hope for this country, and I appreciate to see you all out here. I appreciate you taking your time, and I absolutely love this country, and I hope we can stand up and fight and win this tomorrow.